Hi, my name is Carlos. I am from Tampa, Florida. The name of my project is CS50 Forecaster, which is a merge. It merges some of what we have learned here in CS50 with uh, another uh, edX course or MIT X course called Supply Chain and Logistics Fundamentals. So basically, the CS50 Forecaster is a JavaScript uh, app that takes a, a CSV file with two columns, the time periods and uh, unit demand associated with each of the time periods. So for here for time period number one, uh, unit demand was uh, 109 units and, and so on and so forth. And based on that, it, comp uh, it computes and plots and tabulates and also generates a CSV file, so various kinds of forecasts, some more sophisticated than others. So for the most basic ones, which are like moving average and uh, com community forecasts, so we can we select file and submit it and we can see the CS50 forecaster, genera forecaster generates uh, a graph which was, was generated using D3 and a table associated with the graph and all the way at the bottom it generates uh, uh, here it generates a, 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 the, a results uh, file in CSV format the, te the, the technologies I use for the for the app were uh, D3 which is uh, to generate the plot, for example, where D3, which is a, a JavaScript library for generating very, very customizable plots. Um, it's really good, but it, the, the learning curve is pretty steep, and I had to spend quite a bit of time on that and uh, learning. And even now, I, I can tell I just barely scratched the surface. But uh, I managed to uh, generate um, this plot, which is dynamically generated based on the data. And I, we, uh, you can see we have uh, legends for the, for each of the items, and um, so this, this is very very customizable. But the, there is a learning curve associated with it. And I use a, a, a tool, a, a book called Interactive Data Visualization by Scott Murray, which is can be it's available on Amazon. But you can he's made it available free, freely available on his website. So and I use it pretty extensively for the D3 part of the project. And then the, for the table, the table is also generated dynamically. So that means uh, the table has as many rows as time periods the arena ladder has. So if, you, if the user enters a data with a uh, hundred time periods, then the table is going to have a hundred a hundred rows with uh, the actual data first here, and then the uh, the different forecasts kind of forecast and and. And uh, also, we can generate more sophisticated kind of plots. For example, uh, we can do exponential plots, and so then we ask the user to enter more parameters. And so a new form pops up here, uh, slides down here, on, or exponential with trend, which is even more sophisticated. And you can enter the user can enter different kind of parameters, and and there it generates more sophisticated forecasts. So and then if we can check the the plot, the check and check the the the, the form, then the, the, the other forms appear or disappear accordingly. And so like I said, for, uh, for, for the plot I use D3, and then for the table I use the JavaScript, which is dynamically generated. And uh, for actually reading the data, there's a tool uh, so the uh, uploading the data and converting the data from CSV to JavaScript. There's a, there's a plugin called jQuery-CSV. And this one over here, and it's no, it's not it, that one is not as hard to use, but uh, I still have to spend a little time understanding how it works. So, but basically, it just takes the CSV data and it and it puts it in a in a in a JavaScript array like we learned in the class in CS50. And after you have it in a JavaScript array, then you know you can do you can manipulate it however you want. And and. And the last bit uh, is to, to uh, there, there's something called the file reader API. So I use the file reader API to generate the so it creates to generate the CSV download that the user can download all this data that is in the table. It can download to CSV file and um, and use it for his or her own purposes. You know, if he wants to do further computations. And um, so uh, there there are a couple of. Uh, I, uh, a couple of places on the internet I, I, I found that show some how to use it, so I, I, I borrowed that from there. Well, that's basically it, it, it. Most of the time I spend was spent learning D3 and uh, and also customizing and, ma and making things look more or less nice, you know, sent, um, or at least the way I wanted them to look. Um, 
Um, I spent a lot of time on that too, but um, I think a lot of the time was uh, spent learning D3 and uh, it's very powerful, and but it has a learning curve. Um, but I enjoy doing the project a lot and I, I enjoy TS50 quite a bit and uh, so I want to thank everybody associated with the course and, and that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.